The Department of Health, Education, and Welfare licenses the vaccine for general use in the United States. The Surgeon General of the United States Public Health Service, Dr. Luther Terry, has this to say. Over the past several years, measles vaccines have been successfully tested both in this country and abroad. This painstaking evaluation was made possible by the cooperative effort of scientists, both in and out of government, by physicians, by the drug industry, and by thousands of unselfish and courageous parents who have permitted their children to participate in the field trials. The Secretary of Health, Education, and Welfare has now licensed the vaccines for general use. As increasing numbers of children are vaccinated, we will be well on the way to eradicating a disease that down through the centuries has killed millions of children and left others impaired mentally and physically. All of those who have contributed in any way to this cause for better health can be proud of a great achievement. Within 48 hours of official government licensing, supplies of the vaccine are ready for shipment to doctors throughout the country. Today, production of the vaccine is in full swing, protected at each step by the elaborate manufacturing controls established by industry together with the federal government. Finally, the vaccine which has passed all of the tests is thawed and transferred to individual bottles. These are then freeze-dried, capped, and sealed. The end result is a single-dose vial of the live attenuated virus measles vaccine. But the real story of a vaccine is told in the fears and smiles of a little girl, who today is given greater protection than ever before against the infectious diseases of childhood. <laughs>